Hey up everyone and welcome back to the north for the next episode of Tactical Breach Wizards where last time we finally recruited the Necromancer Doctor. Necro Doctor. There is actually a term for it somewhere. Dessa Banks. So in this case we are now starting with three people so we're going to, have to see how this goes. We do have some new abilities with Dessa herself. We used her a bit in the last episode but she has got her new Spectral Skull ability which means she can now throw Gary around. So let's see what Gary does. Let's get breaching in. I do want to see how it goes. What is everyone's confidence uh, objectives? Have a team use five different abilities in one turn. Interesting. Finish by the end of turn two. Hit three enemies with a single Spectral Skull. I think I could probably do that like now-ish oh well not quite not quite it seems it will bounce around a bit but it won't hit three of them because there's a window there so i'd have to get at a better angle so if i get Dessa in a better place does this do knockback or does it just do like it just does two damage okay so this might be something that might be better to throw after people have already gone so say if i like breach here Obviously, there's like broom breach as well, so I, I need to remember to do that. Man, there is a lot of a lot of people going on here. So if we go here quickly, grab the intel. What's everyone else's? Finish by turn two. This is gonna be interesting. Could technically do that. That will knock them kind of flat on their ass a bit. It's not gonna do the damage I'd like. It would throw the gale grenade. Would throw those guys into the window, which would be quite decent. If I do this, then this, then. It would knock that guy back. It would knock that guy into the wall. It would knock that guy apart. Chain bolt actually not going to do... No, no, do this. And there's a reason why I wa I did that. So if I do that now, Banks, if you come in and go... Let's say there. Five for a spectral score, Gary. Yep, yeah, there's the money shot. Go, Gary, go! Very nice. So that's... Banks is done. Jen, we'll see. Have the team use five different abilities in one turn. We'll see. That's three. Jen, you did have a second ability, but I guess you didn't have that. If I shot you backwards now, you probably wouldn't go into there, would you? Let me go there. If I shot you, would you just go into the back there, or would I just shoot you in general? I'd just shoot you in general. Okay. Well, let's time boost you. And then let me see what you could do now. So if you stack Blast you back into the Shadow Realm, which you will do. Good stuff. And then if I throw that here. Knocks them both out. Very nice. Jen, in you go. Grab the laptop and then take cover if you would, please. Banks, take cover as well. You are probably going to get shot a bit, but that's kind of expected. Zan is fine. Three bolt burst. I can't see this guy. No, I can't see him. So I'm just going to take cover for now. Unfortunately, Jen is going to get her ass shot. But I might be able to get this done by turn two. Because I only need to knock out one person now. So let's just see it. Yeah, Jen is going to get shot. But it is where it is. Let me end the turn. As long as I can take this guy out by the end of this turn, I will still be able to get everyone's objectives done. Which would be pretty cool. Okay, there's evidently a way around this. But... I'm not really seeing it. So just for the sake of getting this moving along, I'm just going to deal with this guy now. I can come back and do Jen's. It always seems to be Jen's that I accidentally, like, sack off a bit, you know? But it is what it is at this point. Lob it. That's fine on there. Jen, I could chain bolt. It will knock you into the wall, I guess. So, yeah, still, still one health, unfortunately. I don't have the extra intel. There's no more intel to grab here. It'll make more sense with, two, with three people going forward, but... Yeah, at least we've got two out of three of them, so that's fine. Once again, I probably will end up coming and revisiting these missions at some point in the future anyway, so we can figure out the best ways of doing it, and also we'll get the upgraded areas. i got Zans and Banks. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine with me. All right, cool. I feel like Banks and Zan are going to be a lot more dripped out than, like, Jen, for example. I'm going to be saving up uh, Zans going forward because some of his outfits look great, but I really need a lot more confidence points. What's next? Officers. They're the only people here who won't shoot us on sight, but only because it's policy to sound the alarm first. Tonight, that's worse. Any alarm goes straight to live. They evac early, and we lose their trail. Even that's worse. You haven't seen the inside of a gunshot wound. Okay, sure, for us personally, life will go on. But we're trying to stop a war here. Get into the headspace, please. Okay, so we've got a lot of these uh, red rangers, as it were. So their only priority right now is to sound the alarm, and if they manage it, our mission is over. Takes the shortest path to the nearest alarm panel and sound if they get there. What is this? 
And I assume that's the alarm, right? Deal with all the enemies by the end of turn one. Hit three enemies with a single spectral skull. Interesting. I'm assuming I can't bounce them. Yeah, we can't let this guy reach the alarm panel. His end series pass shows how far he'll go to force it. Okay. So I can hit two of them. I can't hit three of them currently. I wonder if I move into a certain position, I can sort of ricochet this bad boy. So if I go here... Oh, that's going to go out the window. That won't. So that's a three for me. Now, Jen, if you want to break in now. Breach, uh, breach here. If I chain bolt, you're going to fly out that window. You're going to smack into there. You're going to smack into there, right? Piece of puss, mate, isn't it? Done and done. Sometimes they just throw you a bone with that. But that was that was nice and easy. At least I got a bit more confidence with Jen and Banks at the same time. Just need to find the angles, people. The angles. All right, cool. All right, we're here. If we can clear this room with no alarms, I can foresight it into the briefing room and catch everything. Is it an easy one? I won't want to go on record saying that, no. Might be time for some trauma transference. I'm almost afraid to ask. But I'm not. What is it? Let's me move trauma around. I cast it on you, then I choose who takes the damage next time you get hit. Feels like there was something in the uh, Hippocratic Oath about that. I shot you in the head to save your life yesterday. Hippocrates, 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 oh my god. Hippocrates. Jesus Christ. Needs to get on my level. Not Jesus Christ. Hippocrates does. Right, my, uh, my sounding out of words apparently is not going very well today. Right, so what do I need to do? So finish by the end of turn two, transfer four damage at once. So I've got to get you shot by basically four jabronis and then transfer it to, like, Mr. Heavy Gunner or something. Let me have a look at Banks' abilities. So choose a Protectee, then a Victim. The next time the Protectee is attacked, the Victim takes the hit instead. Use it to save friend from damage, makes enemies harm each other. Unlimited range doesn't require line of sight. My question is, though... So say, let's, uh, let's redeploy, let's put you there. Let's put Zan here. Let's Breach. My question is, is it infinite? So if I stand here, you're going to take four damage. Let me grab this intel. Will it be a case... Can I also cast it on the False Prophet? That'd be interesting. Gen Breach, please. Is it going to be a case that it will also, like, bounce around? And... Or is it only going to get impacted by, like, let's say one damage? Well, he's gone. That was, uh, pretty good, actually. Right, he's gone down as well. Perfect, take cover. So, Banks, if I come in, say, here. Let me grab this intel. Let me go transference, you, and then you. Is it only going to affect one of the damage that will then go on to the heavy gunner, or is it going to be all the damage for one turn? That's the part I don't quite understand. So, I'm going to have to... Got to kind of see how that goes. Can I put a death store anywhere? Not currently. I can bounce a skull. I could technically hit him myself and then bounce the damage back. I think that's quite interesting. Can I just do you normally? Why not? Sorry for the window. To the wall. Right. You're, so you're going to get hit. I want to see how this works. No. It only affects the first attack. Right. Good to know. Let me go all the way back. Right, now that goes in. Let's breach. A little bit disappointing that it only affects one ability, but hey, that's that's life, unfortunately. You just gotta kind of get used to it. I'm sorry to say. Sorry for all those lifers out there. Uh, if I, Banks, put a Death Store... Right, let me move here. Death Store is once per encounter, right? And then once use per encounter. So if I went here, went Death Store here... Then, if I went Chain Bolt into there, he should get grabbed by the weird, litchy stuff. Should do, anyway. Big, big mofos down. That's good. Transfer four damage at once, though. So, you're only taking three damage. So, how do you take four damage? That's my, my big old question. Doesn't seem to be a way to... So, if I... Transfer, transfer. So you're going to take three damage. That should be fine. I should now be able to walk Zan up to... Are you going to get shot by the turret instead? Right. Let me move that back then. 
What about if I went there? That doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I think that should be fine. Let me knock this guy around a bit. Oh, you all got all oh, that showing him going to the alarm. But of course. But of course. What else could I do? I could throw a sensitive cocktail. I might as well. It'll take him out at the very least. Let's take over here. I want to keep you here. Oh, to be fair, the, the movement's not really going to work anyway, because I'm going to be doing the transference regardless. Then, predictive bolt there. This is going to take a bit of a while getting used to. So that'll kill him. Great. Let me end the turn. Please. You're going to get sniped. That's fine. Don't let anyone sound the alarm. This is fine. Let me grab this. Let me hack the turret very quickly. Let me free bolt burst you. And then, to be fair, I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. Unless I've got to now cover the whole thing. Yeah. Can I? I can't get all the way over there. There's got to be a way. Okay, apparently, no matter what I do, I am one space out from sealing the door, which is quite annoying. It's quite annoying. But hey, what can you do? Let me knock this back for now and then make it so it bounces into this guy. Don't worry about the rest of it. I don't want to hit Zan. This that guy's going to get hit. You stay there. Banks, if you want to come in here. Oh, I can only do transference once. Of course. I see how it goes. We'll throw that. That'll do. Resurrect's not going to do anything. I don't think I'm doing this... Anyway, I don't think I'm doing either of these, actually, if I'm being quite honest. Let me hack the turret. Let me take cover. I, I could technically time boost, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. If I did like that, for example, I can't move with time boost. I can only do actions, which I don't need to do right now. So, we're fine, but I'm not going to get any of the things going on. Hey, so only one more reinforcement. I'm calling a little bit of bullshit, a little bit of bullshit going on here. I see it. Not a fan. Not a fan of you doing that, mate. But fine, whatever. Right, grab that one very quickly. Can I bounce the skull and hit them both, I wonder? Uh, I can. It's a pretty cool ability. I'll, I'll give the game that. Right, seal the door very quickly. Zan, go over there, seal that door. That did not go how I would have liked it to go, but hey, it is what it is. I think it's going to take a bit of getting used to with that transference, like... It seems to be the case that you can only take damage from one enemy for it to work, so it doesn't, like, carry over to the next enemy. But then, it was like, there, there's nobody that did four damage, so where was I getting the transference from? There probably was an enemy that was doing four damage. But, it's gonna take a bit of learning. But I think we're good. I think we're good. It's gonna depend. Surprised I didn't hear any of that. Alright, well, wheels up for Callan at two. At uh, 0200, I should say. I need everyone on the same page, same sentence before we touch down. Put a foot wrong in Liboli, you piss me off. Put a foot wrong in Kalen, or Callan, you'll never see daylight again. So let's hear it, Ryan. Stay canine, head to the vaults, sniff around for mana stockpiles. Good. Bori, straight for the safe house. Lay low, don't set fire to anything important until I get the mana call. Don't set fire to anything until you get the mana call. Sure, of course. No major fires. Steve? I have a question about my role. Oh, God. More of a comment, actually. I just think I have more to offer than my badge. I know you said it'll help my cover, but if I could just be part of the vault team. I'm not your HR manager, Steve. I don't need you to feel valued. I use people who don't like need nannying, and if that's not you... No, no, that's me. Absolutely. You can throw your pretend cars around when we get to medal. Till then, you are just a badge. Steve's high vis robes sag. Oh, Sorry, Steve. Get fucked. I still don't get why we're going to Callan. It's gonna be chaos with the riots. I'm not gonna draw you a diagram. That's a wrap. We're H-5. Be at the helipad on the dot. We are staying in Liboli. Okay, looks like we're moving to another country. That was loud. That hurt my ears. Right, so reach the briefing, done. Sound no alarms, done. Learn Liv Kennedy's next move, done. Understand Liv Kennedy's next move. Let's just set ourselves achievable goals and build confidence from there. Literal confidence. And boy, are we going to be wearing the clothes for it. So yeah, I think a few things... If transference, maybe there's like an upgrade to transference where it's like, 
um, you get to take the damage transferred from all the attacks against that one person instead of just one attack against that one person. Unless that was happening, it just didn't seem to be the case. All right, let me have a look at what abilities I can chop and change a bit. I'm just gonna give her an extra. I'm just gonna to give her an extra gale grenade. I think that's just generally speaking gonna work quite well. Zan, let's have a look at you. Spotify would be quite good because that means when you attack them, you take a free shot and just do damage in general. Time, bo time boost or time bomb boost all targets in a one tile radius except for Zan. Persistent delusion, if the profit dies before it disappears, your mana is refunded. Hmm. Profit interacts with anything it can, can before expiring. So, like turrets or I guess door ceiling as well. And then one damage conviction. If the shot knocks someone out, it can be used again this turn. That's pretty cool. If the shot fires on your turn, gain plus one mana. All of these are pretty good. All of these are pretty good. I'm actually going to upgrade Force Profit because we seem to be having issues with accessing like doors and turrets and our movement range isn't amazing at, amazing at the moment. But if I can throw out a Force Profit who can do that for me, that could be a game changer. That's the way I'm kind of seeing it. Depends on how we go with it. I guess we'll find out. All right, off we go. This is getting messy. I'm going to have to group some of these targets together. There's a lot of things. What's this? A lift trap? This team? Oh, yeah. You know what, Steve? You can stay all the way down there. I'm not interested, mate. Have fun. So, Dessa. I walked in on Banks right after she shot the mobster I was tracking. During Wexler. According to her file, she used to be a surgeon at Rushwater General. Dropped off the grid a year ago and is now the mob doctor for Drew Mafia. I undo damage. Only works if you're dead. If you're not, I can get you there for an extra 6,000. I'm not, I'm not saying that. How many people do you think are reading our secret map? Wait, you get paid $6,000. Sent you a new pick. Please update. We'll see. Necromedic. That's what it was called. So let's pull you out a bit. What's this? Our team, we will probably all die. That's lovely. Can I not just put us in here? Oh, I can. That's nice. So I can now, like, zoom us out. Let's put Jen in there as well. Pull this out a little bit. Jen, come here. Little team goes in there. Zan, little team goes in there. Oh, we can have up to five people. Cool. Noakes Bar. Let's have a look at Noakes Bar. Local Brandy's discreet bartender. We found a nice out of the way place to hold up between ops and the bartender's already heard enough. But there's not much point lowering our voices now. And then also the reactive black site somewhere around here. I don't think I can really connect. Taken to. Oh, it's kind of like clearing it up a little bit. And then we've got Ryan. Never seen this guy before. But somehow he hit Zan and I with Thistle Kiss starts on notice and almost killed us both. Ah, so this was this guy. So we need to talk about boundaries. My Mara always used to say, if you can't shoot something nice into someone's neck, don't shoot anything at all. That's cute for your Ma to say. Right, so I need to shove all these people into the team. So we've got Ryan there. We've got Bori Kesh there. We've got Liv. I should have really put her at the top. Uh, I guess I'll pull Steve out of the bottom here and put him into his little thing. Oh, look at it, how nice it is for him. Okay, fine. All right, now we've got some space for new stuff. List sickness. Bank says Liv has to be killed and resurrected three times after disappearing for a few hours and returning sweating and shaking. What could be so serious and why did it keep happening? Cured by... Oh, man, there's quite a few things going on now. So cured by... Let me just pull this over here. So Dessa, cured by... There you go. And then poisoned by... Ryan, poisoned by Ryan. Headed to... It was... Callan over here. Liz Golan, Callan, Liz stream team is headed to Callan next, but we don't know exactly where or remotely why. So you're headed there. Repeatedly suffered. What? What do you mean repeatedly suffered? Oh, I've just got connected to the sickness. Let me put that in the middle. This is all over the place. This is a bit all over the place now. Hey, that'll make sense to me. No rush if you want to rearrange it. No, you know what? I can live with this. I guess I'll put reactor like here so it's not as much of a mess. This is going to slowly move around the map as we go. So missions... God, we're not even that far. Well, we're kind of we're kind of far through Act 2, I'd say. What dreams have we got now? I really should start going through these a bit more. I might do one or two here. There is no one played currently. Let me have a quick look at the outfits. I cannot lock Hedge Wizard or Wiztack. But honestly, I'm going to keep the confidence until I get to, like, Urban Arcanist. You're almost there. Ooh, what do I want? Funeral Chic? I do like Frontier Medicine. I do actually really like Wiztack. Wiztack looks really cool on her. I'm quite happy with Wiztack here. Private Eye would be quite good. Good. White Witch is interesting, but it doesn't really have the same vibe as everyone else's, I guess. I guess I'm going to quickly breeze through some of these. Just Let's just get through some of these so, we don't, so we've actually like completed some of them. So I've got a feeling that if there's only, what, three more bits of this, we might be able to get most of Act 2 done today. Most, not all. Let me do the rest of these. So Zan Backup, Witch Storm, and Wackador. Right, let's crack through. So what's this one? Knock out all enemies and reinforcements. 13 left. But yeah, Zan. Cause predicted Bolt to fire before the 4C phase. But there's only one of me, right? So how do I make it fire before the 4C phase if there's only one of me? Or is there going to be two of me? It seems to be like there's going to be a friend coming in here. 
Something about this door seems pleasant. Mm, I'm not seeing how pleasant it seems. Or feels. So if I put, say, like... The Prophet here. Oh! So he does actually do some uh, kooky shit like that, does he? That's, that's quite cool. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the bolt happen, like, now. I don't think. I'm not seeing it anyway. Let me just put this bolt there for the time being. The False Prophet's going to disappear. You're not going to move. How am I supposed to... There's two of me. I see. Okay, now it's starting to make sense. So what I need to do is, I basically need to knock this guy slightly further afield. So if I go here, go predictive bolt here. If I go here, let's say, and then free bolt burst. Ah, it's a wrong angle. Let me put the false profit there. Booyah! And he's going to seal the door. Oh, what a, what a cutie you are. What a cutie you are. Well, let me put another one here. It's Zan for days, people. Look at this go. Okay, well, I can't shoot any of them right now. I can shoot this one. So why not? And then I can time boost this, Sam. Which can then free bolt this, this one. This is cool. This is pretty cool. Infinite Zans, baby. Infinite Zans. Can I just, like, keep using them? This is, this is pretty, pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Oh, all my friends are gone. Does that mean I'm going to get a third, a third Zan? I know these are his dreams, so it kind of makes sense, but it is... It's kind of crazy when you think about it. So don't think about it. All right, that one's down. Uh, second Zan coming in hot, I guess. Although I could get... Can I shoot you there and it would make you go at an angle? No, just make you go backwards. Saying that, though, what I could do is if I bring... Hang on, if I bring this Zan here... Can I put a false profit? I can't, because I can't technically... Hmm. Extra action, but not extra mana. I need the mana for it. Okay, that's not going to quite work how I thought it was going to. What I could actually do is, if I pull you back, put you there, put a predictive bolt here. Right, I've got an idea. I know, I know how this is going to go. So you, go here. You, go there. You, come here. You, stand there. False profit... Stand there. Shoot him. Knock him into the big bl blowy up thing. You'll love to see it. And then the false prophet. He might get attacked, so I'll put the predictive bolt down there. I can't shoot this guy where I am. I can't shoot... I can shoot this guy here, actually. Surprisingly, or not surprisingly, one way or the other. Let me take cover here. Take cover there. Let's see what he does. Is he going to run, or is he just going to leave it? Bye, Joe. He's just going to leave... Oh, you grenade-throwing bastards. Okay, well, that's cute, isn't it? I think I'm out of mana, which kind of makes sense. Although there is a mana thing here. So I can actually send another false prophet here. He can shoot this guy, and it'll knock him out completely. That's what I wanted. This Zan might now be a bit of a problem. Saying that, if I go like here and shot him, he's out, right? Yeah, he's out. Sound. Are we good? Are we good? We're good. Okay, that got, took a bit of getting used to, but once I started seeing more Zans coming in, it made a lot more sense. But having one Zan would have been a bit problematic, but that went quite well. God, there's so much dream training to go through. I assume this is all going to be Zan, and then this will move more onto Gen, or both of them, and then this is more of a mix. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's quickly rack through this one. I should just click play all, but I've already played two of them. So Gen's going to be in on this one. So Gen, what have I got to do with you? Finish by the end of turn one. All right. You have to give me a hot minute to figure this one out. So I could throw a Gale Grenade and it would knock quite a few of them into the Shadow Realm. Kinda. But not like... For that there, hang on. <laughs> I didn't actually... Oh no. <laughs> I was like, I didn't actually do what I wanted it to do, unfortunately. But it kinda is alright. Throw that. You two are gone. How about... How about that? How's that? You finish rate five hostiles in one turn. Let me go grab this very quickly. Am I done? Did I do it? Ah! Piece of piss! There you go. I'll never say that again, because it'll probably do me at some point. Okay, great. So that wasn't actually that hard at all. And then Wackadoor. Let's see. Oh, more confidence for Jen, please. Right. 
Let's see, so what have I got to do? So, prevent 15 reinforcements in total. I mean, there's a lot of doors. Defenestrate one hostile by the end of turn three. Where's the windows? Took walls. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to, like, do a bit of hokey pokey, turn them all around sort of things, because there's no... The windows are not very close by any means. But what I can do is Zan is... Hang on. First things first, let me do this. Let me seal do her. Let me false profit here. Will he seal it? He will. Sick. Next false profit. There. Lock it up. Next pro. I don't know if this one will get very far, so I won't do that. Jen, if you want to just get to this one and then seal the door there. I could technically then throw a time boost, but it'll be... That's only going to be an action, I guess, not a movement. So it doesn't technically count. So I'm just going to have to hope that they all come through the doors properly and we're fine. But we'll see how it goes. Right, 4C. You guys are going to go away. That's fine. That's a bit rude. That's also a bit rude. What do I, what do I expect from people? Let me get this sealed now. So I've already done the reinforcements prevention. So now it's just trying to get one of these guys knocked backwards. Now, how do I knock from off a wall without hurting them? That's the next question, really. Hmm. I could gale grenades backwards. And then, can I make it so he goes the other way? I don't think I can. Knock you that way. Let me move you here. Let me grab the intel. That's just going to knock you out, isn't it? Let me figure this out. Can I put a... If I put a false prophet here, he's just going to get shot, right? Most likely, yes. Most likely, yes. I could time boost you, but I'm not... I don't really see the point. I don't really see the point. So I'm going to leave that there. I will just take cover for the time being. Oh, wow. So that will explode. That will explode that, and that will explode that. Well, I don't like that. Well, hang on. Right, I'm going to throw a gale grenade here to knock those things out of the way so it stops Zan from getting blown the F up. There you go. That's that's better. That's better. Right, they're going to get mates coming in. That's fine. I could maybe now, if I stack blast you... Close. Close. If I now time boost... Out the window. Out the window, please. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. Nice. Put door on. That's all right. Shoot that guy normally. He'll just get hurt. Drop him like it's hot. Go there. Seal that door. Are we good? Or should I put another false prophet here? Seal that door, please. Put another false prophet there. Why not? Seal that door. Man. What a guy. What a guy. I can't really do much else, so let's foresee. Oh no, the fake guy is gone. It's fun. And then Jen, here you go. Seal that door. Just like that. Bish bash bosh. Get a wash. We're good. Nice! I was a little bit worried about the whole door thing for a while, but we actually managed to persevere and wait until they sort of stacked up quite well. So I was quite happy how that went. Very good. So that is now done, right? So done with that one. So proving grounds the clinic. I guess I can see what this does. Let me see. I know this is kind of going off. Can I only pick one or two? I'll pick you two for now. So what's the actual aim here? Survive till the end of turn 10. It's turn 1. Oh! Oh! It's just like a survival mission. Cool. Alright. Kind of into that. Alright. This should be fine, right? I don't know if I can actually uh no i don't think i can there's no doors to like lock down it is just a case of they're coming deal with it grab that for the time being take cover turn two ah, i see this is gonna get it's just gonna get more thick and furious and that's okay grab that intel god i've got so much mana I might as well grab it whilst I'm here. Grab that as well. Take cover. It's going to get a bit crazy next turn because we've got three people coming in. That's unnecessary, but fine. Fire you there. Fire you there. There is a wall in the way. 
there is a wall in the way. Well, in that case, throw that. Move here. Train bolt there. Train bolt there. That'll do. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Right, grab the intel, take cover. Zan, move here. And then predictive bolt upwards, please. Do that thing you do. That's going to blow up. You're going to walk in, get shot the F up. There's now another, what, two people coming in. Let me predictive bolt this way. Jen, if you want to come this way so you can maybe chain bolt there and chain bolt back down, I guess? Let's see. Kaboom, Rico. Let me chain bolt there. That should hit into the lightning attack thing. And then that should knock you further afield. I guess I could Gale Grenade first. And then if I chain bolt and then chain bolt, you're going to go out. You should hit this weird lightning thing. You will. And technically you should have gone out the window, but you didn't. But that's... That's just fine. Don't worry about it. Stay there for the time being. Zan, if you want to go and grab the intel. Actually, you know what? No. If you want to just predictive ball this way, this seems to be a winner-winner at the moment. Gone down straight away. Zan, if you could stand here. Three bolt versus one. Into there. Jen, you can stack blast. Will it hit him in the wall? Well, yes, it will. So there's two more coming up. So, Jen, if you want to come here so I can maybe do some static discharge and firing. Zan, I can't do anything at the moment. I could maybe do this. They might come a bit closer. I don't think they will, though. Nah. You know what? That's okay. Let me do chain bolt. Let me fire you backwards and then fire you back out. Sayonara. God, there's a reason why there's so much goddamn mana in this one, isn't there? Let me put you here so you can maybe do some good angles. Zan, there are three of them coming in. So let me predictive bolt this one, because he's the one with a shield. And I can grab the mana next turn. For a second, I thought they were going to... Well, you know. You know. So if I stack burst you... It's not going to work. How about if I stand here? Would I be able to static blast? No, you're still in the way. So if I move to, say, like here, which is out of a grenade, static blast you into the weird electrical thing there. Zan turn around two point burst this one. We now have a big jabroni coming in, though. So I really actually want Zan to get ready to shoot this guy. Yeah. Okay. False prophet. No, I was originally going to aim for, but you know what? That's all right. Aim for that. As soon as he walks in, just shoot him. Fire that into there. Move there in preparation. Get ready. Let's go. That's going to blow up. Our false prophet will die, unfortunately. It is what it is. You're going to come in. You're not going to die, but you're going to take enough damage for me to be set. Set foot world. It's turn nine. That's all right. Jen, if you can come back here, grab the intel. Chain bolt this one. It's not going to kill him, though. Hmm. Right, then. I see this is a problem. Knock back. Knock back. Try that. Are you still going to run over here and hit Jen? You are. Can I just shoot this guy and be done with it? I can't because Jen's in the way. Okay. Well, if I stand here, if I time boost Jen, you can then stack blast this one, knock him on his ass, and then Zan predicted bolt this up here. Wait for it. Probably should have aimed for this guy, but you know what? Whatever, bro. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And now it should just be a game of knock them out. Yeah. Done. Are we good? Sick. I actually quite like this, like a survival defense. So I just need to do it again with Banks, and then I'll get her confidence. But I think I'll do that at another point. I just wanted to see how that works. So these are sort of like challenge missions up top here. And then the proving grounds are just like survive defense sort of thing. I really like that. I'm a big fan of it. So I could unlock Desert Detachment or Jungle Tracker. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until I get 15. Same with Zan. I'm going to wait until I get, I think, 10. Or maybe even 15. I'm not sure. And then obviously I still need one more for our girl. So I'll leave this here. We did this now. That's good. I'll probably maybe, like, rack through one of these per episode. So we're doing, like, one. We're doing, like, a, f a full mission. We quickly rack through, like, these four. And then we do, like, another full mission sort of thing. That might be a good way. And then every now and then I'll dip in and do this. I do need to do banks as well but it's fine for the time being well, let's move on all right if they're taking the chopper to like bully they'll be leaving from the southwest facility with the helipad we've still got no chance against live but if we get there early we can catch some of the goon squad alone and whistle down their numbers i thought you already beat that traffic guy back in stonecliff we didn't kill him 
God, don't tell me you're one of those outfits that kills a hundred henchmen and then suddenly grows a moral compass when it comes to the fuckers responsible. No! We don't kill henchmen either. No killing. Oh, so you're not hypocrites. You're just toothless all around. Damn right. Liv won't get there to the last minute. She's never early because nothing can make her late. That's a good point, actually. The rest of them will rush because they're terrified of her, so we might be able to catch them at the hangar before she gets there. Then we better gear up. That's a good point that she can never be late. She'll arrive at exactly the right time. As the old thing says... I almost said Gandalf instead of Dumbledore. Almost correct. <laughs> almost accurate. Just to check, you're on board with the whole no-killing thing, right, Banks? For now. I ask her she'll be the only one carrying an inherently lethal weapon. Yeah, but to be fair, she only uses it to resurrect people. It's a vibe. My gun? That's a medical instrument. I only use it for cranial interventions. See? I think cranial interventions are what he's worried about. I don't fire it in combat. I never shoot anyone I can't be sure I'll have a chance to res. Okay, good. Unless I want them to die. I think that's all we're getting, Zan. That's fair. Okay, so what are the uh, confidence boosters for this one? So Zan and Jen have a team use five different abilities in one turn. Finish by the end of turn one. Okay. Chipper today, aren't we, Jen? Let me figure this out. Okay, first things first, let's do a bit of trial and error. So Banks in. If I threw a Spectral Skull, could I bounce it correctly? I don't think I technically could. So if I stood like here, could I bounce you off here and hit... Oh, ooh. Decent. That's not a bad start by any means. There is still this massive guy who I need to deal with in turn one, which I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. Not really. Jen, if you breach in, there's not really any windows to do the old, uh, you know, the big thing. But if you do that, then that, then that. That's those three down, right? Grab the laptop. We're done with that. Gale grenades, I could hit them, but it's it's not gonna do any it's not gonna do anything. So Zan, you're kinda you're kinda up, buddy. I don't know what you can do. So please, please show me that you can do you know, something, eh? Well, let's go bolt. Okay. That's something. I have an idea. So, you're going to take four, but the four should then hit this guy, right? So, if I shoot now, just to make sure, if I foresee it, he killed himself. What a dumbass. But I need to use one more ability. So, in that case, if I use time boost, just because, and then that gets me it done. All right, sick. Good job, team. Good job, me. Sometimes I think I'm not going to figure this out, and then it just, my monkey brain just goes. Or is it my lizard brain these days? Probably my monkey brain, I assume. Alright, rock and roll, let's keep going. Okay, when we breach, I want you to keep in mind this room isn't as scary as it looks. What makes you say that? Blind optimism. Are there heavies? Won't lie, there are a lot of heavies. I hate them. It should be illegal to clip someone if they're in cover. It is illegal, they're trying to kill us. Not even like Bully, if we're trespassing, there's basically nothing they can't do. It's why shady security courts like Reactor love it here. I thought it was mainly the tax breaks. The tax breaks don't hurt. Okay, so... How many heavies could a heavy... Oh god, they can see me through all the windows! Wait, does that mean I can do the, uh, broom breach if I want to? Maybe. So if I... threw a gale grenade here, it won't knock any of them. Because they're resistant. Because they're bastard men. Maybe I can, like, do, like, a weird, like... Hmm. 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 It's nice that you've all got names, I guess. Can I throw a false prophet that far? No, I can't. Can I put it here and wait? So, technically, I could use it to take the Overwatch, which is actually kind of interesting. I don't think I'm doing that. So, regardless, it, it will come out of me to go there. It's not that it spawns there. Okay. All right. I, I'm okay with that for the time being. Thanks. What can you do? Let a single team perform three actions in one turn. Finish by the end of turn four. Cause six total extra knockback by making enemies unsteady. So throw a flask at least everyone unsteady. So if I threw this, bear with me. Bear with me. And then if I threw... Hang about. Jen. If I threw a Gale Grenade now... Oh! Ho 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 ho! Well, hold the goddamn phone for a second here. 
Wait a sec. This will make sense in a second. Gale grenade. Have I got the Zan thing yet? I need to do like one more action, right? Hmm. Does that technically not count as an action? Right, okay. Oh man, these are gonna be quite difficult. I'm just gonna accept it for now. I might be able to do it in the next turn. There's still quite a lot of them going. I might be able to get the... Okay, the amount of grenades is kind of not on, but okay, fine, I guess. The six knocks extra knockback is quite cool, though. And what have you done so far? Five. So I could actually just do banks go here. Throw a sedative. There. I don't know if it'll be... I don't know if it's technically extra knockback. Put the death stall there. Take over for now. Jen, if you can stand here. Can you chain ball? Hmm, not quite. If I did that, that would be that done, right? I think Zanz is going to be the difficult one here. This might be a bit rough going. A bit rough going. So I can't use False Prophet to sh shut door. But I can do that. Oh, you didn't get moved back into the Shadow Realm, though. That's the thing. Right. All right, screw it. Let's do that. Let's just knock you here. I've at least got Banks is done. There's a chance that I can still get the other one done as well. Seal that door. Right. So you're going to blow up. You're going to get yourself kills. And then nothing else is happening, right? What turns it now? Turn three. So I just need to knock this jabroni into next week, which should be possible, maybe? I don't know. I actually don't know. I can't really get to that door, and I need the uh, intel to do so. Oh, this is a pain. This is actually like a, a, a genuine pain this time. So I could just shoot him normally, and... I will. And I think a predictive bolt isn't really going to do it because he's not going to come that far down. If you take cover, if you go there and go special would work, but let me go sedative. Take cover. So you're going to die from the sedative now, so I can move here quite safely without an issue, right? Oh no, the sedative activates afterwards. Am I going to get hurt regardless? For one. I'll take it. If this guy comes in, I need to do this by the end of this turn now. Just for gens. Which I should hopefully be able to do. I wish I could, like, can I hit him, like, twice? That'd be quite funny. I wonder if that's the case. If I stand here and go Spectral Skull... That would technically hit him twice. But he also hit us several times as well. But it's, it's cool to see that it, that does work. That's really cool. If I put her here instead then, can I actually get the angle right to do it twice? Yeah. Oh, I also got an achievement. <laughs> the hitting someone with the skull twice. So it is a thing. It is a thing. Big fan. Big fan. All right. We done? No, I need to move Jen. That's fine. Didn't see the explosion. We're now done. Okay, so Jen's is fine. Banks is fine. Zan's is a little bit more difficult. I think as we unlock better abilities when we, when we come back, that might be a lot easier. But man, it, some of these are getting quite quite interesting. I think I'm more as I'm realizing as I'm playing this game, I'm enjoying the puzzle aspect more than the turn-based aspect. And even though I come from like a very turn-based background for games, I think the puzzle aspect for this is like, ooh, chef's kiss. Oh, I don't like this. When I foresee breaching this room, they target me with something and the vision just kind of stops there. Oh, that sounds like a neutralizer. Banks and I hit one when we were getting her arcana. Reactor have anti-magic tech? Don't love that. They can't stop you throwing stuff, at least. No one can stop you throwing stuff. There's a guy in Jung who can make your arms go limp. But only after eating a lot of Celeriac and he has to stare at the floor the whole time. I don't think we'll run into him. That's extremely specific. Extremely specific. Go on, what have I got to do? So, prevent five reinforcements in total. Finish by the end of turn one. Transfer four damage at once. So, Banks, breach, please. Is he going to turn this way? Right. Zan. Okay, it's actually going to be Jen who breaches, right? He can only, at the end of the day, this jabroni can only look one way. And that's what's important here. But how do I finish it in turn one? Oh, I've kind of got a weird idea. I've kind of got a weird idea. I guess if I throw 
that. Then, if you want to come... Is he going to turn around and look at me? He will. Which will make Banks able, able to do stuff. No. No, no, no. What I want to do... I need the extra movement. Ah, you piss taker. Oh! Actually, I think I've got it. Okay. So, Gale Grenade. And then Stack Blast. That will refresh my movement. I can walk there, seal the door. That's fine. And then... Zan. If you go there... False Prophet yourself in front of yourself. Oh. I technically don't want to do that. This is going to sound weird, but I, I would rather you take the damage. How am I going to do this now? The transference... But technically, he's going to shoot four, but he's only going to take two. Will that matter? I don't know if it will. You're going to shoot him regardless, and then you're going to seal the door. Fine. You know what? Fine. I'll take it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I guess I should have done that first, I guess? At least I'm getting, like, the majority of them done. And at least I'm still efficient. I also hope everyone doesn't mind that I am showing my workings out here and there, and people aren't just like, God, why, does he, why doesn't he just get on with it? It's a puzzle game, people. That's kind of the point. My question about the Slyria guy. I think he'd probably want to know, be known as the Limp Arms guy. I don't think anybody wants to be known as the Limp Arms guy. My question is, how did he unlock? Why would you ever desperately need to make someone's arm go limp? Maybe someone he didn't like was carrying something he wanted to break? Okay, but that's want. To unlock, you've got to need it. Maybe someone was carrying him. Away from his beloved Slyriac. We don't even know if he likes Slyriac. Maybe he hates it. Oh my god, now I'm sad about Limp's arm guy. Oh, Limp Arms guy. I was never not sad about Limp Arms guy. Should we breach the door and stop World War V, or should we stop and write a book about Limp Arms guy? Has to think about it. Breach, I guess. <laughs> Come on, we've got a job to do, people. What's the rules this time? Prevent nine reinforcements, defenestrate two hostiles in one turn. I think I can see how. Breach. Right. Move. You get their attention. Zan. Even three bolt burst is magic, and I guess it is, yeah. Okay, three bolt burst this guy up. And then Jen. I've got wait, hang on, I've got this. I've got this. He says he's got this. Allegedly. Love that. Now, Gale Grenades. Booyakasha. Told you I had this. No problem. Next thing is, Broom Breach there. Ooh. Ah. There is a lot of reinforcements. If I put you there, will you walk over to the door? You won't. I have to basically put you on the door. Okay, protective bolt. At least I've got gens done. That's, you know, something. I can't move you anymore. To be fair, if I stack blast like just something, do I have to actually hit someone to then get my movement back? I do. So I guess if I broom breach. And I can grab the intel by in getting to doors, unfortunately. They're just a little bit too far away. So I'm going to have to take cover. This will do. I've got one action in use. Do I? I do, but it's not really doing anything, is it? Right, you're gone straight away. Don't really like who came from that door. Not a, not a big old fan of it. But hey, such is life. Right, Zan. I need you to get here. Ah, you then have the predictive false profit bullshit. That is really doing me a, a scare. Right, false profit. That door. Sealed. Okay. Next, Brain. I need to figure this out. Come on, Brain. Come on, Brain. You can do it. Right, that's gone. You're in a really awkward as shit place. So, out of the way. Move there. Seal that. You're going to shoot the False Prophet, which is actually fine. You still have an action which I could use Sedative for. Transference, I don't think there's much point in doing right now. So I think I'm okay with that. So take cover. 
Time boost would be interesting, but I don't think it's going to matter, to be quite honest. And I will predict a bolt this way just in case they move. What do I need to do? Prevent nine reinforcements in total. How many reinforcements are left? I don't quite know. Okay. Right. I guess that's fine. So, let's figure this shit out. Very quickly. If I get a grenade here, it'll just knock like two of them on their ass, but it's not gonna move them. I'm also now being targeted. So move there. I guess throw that there. Jen, if you now move here, you should be fine. Knock that out. Knock that out. Shit. If you take cover, can I fire over you? Oh, but then you'll take... Right. So I need you to be there. Ugh. This is disgusting. Hang on. How about blast, blast, blast. Okay, that I like. And then, if you want to come up here, buddy boy. False prophet. False prophet. Shoot him. Booyakasha. Oh, that took a bit of doing, didn't it? We're all good here, son. Good job, team. Oh, look at the ten. Look at that ten. Eleven, even. Beautiful. What's cracking? Three minutes early, Bori? Someone's anxious to impress the boss. She says H minus five. I don't know what this means. It means five hours out. Did you think it was minutes? You're really also. That's not... I just had some packing to do. You'll pack things from this hangar? Yes. I was low on... Spanners. Sure you were, buddy. Alright, the clowns are in the roost. That doesn't make sense. Jen, if we get caught by Bori's fire, anything we can do? Magical fire can burn anything, but if it's not a fuel source, it takes focus to keep it going. The mana stockpiles and rush water seem to burn fine without him. Then I guess that's a fuel source, but people are just sacks of blood. It's hard to keep a fire going on that. So if it goes down, we stop burning. Best guess? Oh, I could just res you. Oh, right, we also have a necromancer. Necromedic. What about this traffic guy? He just summons ghost cars. It's honestly not much of a problem. Bring it on, Kellen! Shit. Really good hearing, though. I forget about that. Right, so you've got bezzy mates. Could I? Oh, wow. This is a this is an interesting setup for a shower. Have a team use nine different abilities in one turn. Knock the traffic warden into a death's door. Use resurrection on a teammate who has no mana left. I mean, okay. All right. Shit, what am I doing here? Can I gale grenades and, like, hit two of them? No? Maybe? From mild fire. It's so dumb. It's funny, though, but it's so dumb. So if I broom breach and come out, is there anywhere I can come out? Where's the control system? Hello. So if I now pushed you this way? And then moved here. Hack for turret. That would be lovely, thank you. Can I just keep pushing you? Apparently not. Let me let me try that one again. Let me throw that for a second time. Okay, instead I just hurt him. Right, okay. Right, I just want to get him... Maybe I can make the traffic wall kill his friends. That's kind of what I'm seeing? It's kind of what I'm seeing. We'll see what happens. Let's breach. Move him. Spectral skull is pretty police. Is there a way to make him... Oh, you know what? I should have... Yeah, I should have thrown his first to make him move more. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Okay, hang on. So Banks, reach in. Stand like there. Throw the sedative cocktail. Uh, I suppose... There. Hack for turret. Gale grenade him downwards. And then gale grenade him that way. Okay. So the traffic warlock is now going to throw cars at his friends. What does it do and how much damage does it do? That's my next question. Can you transfer damage from yourself? 
Or is it only friends? It's only friends. Okay. This is really interesting to work out so far. Grab the intel. Transference on you. Put it onto this guy. So. So, so, so. If I put this here in front of a door that they're going to come through, will we just automatically get sucked into the door? Is that something that might happen? We're going to find out. So, first things first. You're going to get shot. You're going to get defended. You're going to get... <laughs> Always look both ways, boy. I just got an achievement for making him get hit. That's actually really funny. The less lethal pyromancer's fire doesn't hurt at first, but you'll lose one health every time you do anything. It's extinguished if you knock him out or if you're resurrected. Okay, can I choose to shoot people now? Okay, so I didn't make it so... So that's that doesn't work the way I thought it was going to. So now it's a case I want to knock him back downwards. So Zan's going to be on fire... Kind of regardless of what he does here. That's I guess that's okay. Can I put like a death store on there? What was what was your thing by the way? Oh, uh, that was the knocking the. Tr I mean, I can try and get him all the way over there, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think all of these gonna be quite. All of these are actually gonna be quite difficult. Move forward. Yes, you're gonna get hurt. I know. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I move a false prophet here, it's not really doing much. I don't think that's worth it. Do that. Jen, you can get there. You can seal the door. You can then chain bolt. Probably hit quite a few of them. I would imagine. I presume. Or I could static blast. Let me static blast. Because in that way I can move a bit closer. Let me try that again. Because I don't want to really touch the fire. Do I have to... Do I have to angle that through the fire like that? Really? Hmm, okay. Okay, I guess. Can I do anything here? Resurrect, so not really. And I can't... And grab the intel, but I can't chain bolt now. You are going to get hit. In that case, it might be safe for you to stay all the way there. And instead, chain bolt them all, all three of them. Annoyingly, that's going not that's not going to knock you where I would have liked you to get knocked. And Zan's now going to go down. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, Zan will go down, but I'll be able to res him. But who has no mana left? So I need to spend it. Right? I think Zan's going to go down regardless of what we do here. But that means I can then res him and then get Banks's thing done, which I guess is I guess is something as far as things are concerned here. Let me throw that. Let me take cover. You're going to get set on fire. I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to get away... No, you know what? Go and lock that door off. That way, that's sealed at least. So actually, actually, if I'm going to seal that door anyway, it doesn't matter for Zan to predictive bolt over there. I don't need to. So if I seal the door... Sorry, this is taking a while. I am really trying to figure this out. In the best way possible. And then chain, chain, chain... And then if you want to then... Can I chain again? Chain, chain, chain. Right, big boy's down. He's probably, he's going to get shot by that, so unfortunately I'm not going to kill him with the death door. And doing like nine abilities in one turn is kind of crazy. Let's do a bit of damage here. Our boy's gone down, but that's okay. That, I'm pretty sure that turret is not non-lethal. I don't think the turret knows that. So let's just pretend, eh? Alright, so we've got the less, le less lethal pyromancer. Banks, if you want to... How far do I have to be to resurrect? If you come... Here... I need to be a bit closer. Right. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to walk, walk through this and get really injured. Uh, resurrect. Yeah, that's one way to do it. At least I've got that. I don't think I'm doing nine actions. That's my only uh, thing with that, I'll say. Now, Jen, this is actually quite difficult. I think that's the point, you know. Come here, you. And then that means you can move and get a little bit closer. You are going to take the flak, but that's, that's fine. 
Zan, if I put a false prophet here, will it move him? It will. So Zan, now if I come here, how many abilities do I use? Five. Is there a way to use another four? I don't know if there is. I don't know if there is. Uh, I assume taking cover doesn't count. No, and I'd, I'd prefer it if she actually just, you know, lived. I don't have any more. I don't have any more. All right. Into the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. What's going to... Is something going to blow up? Oh, he's going to go down. Okay, so I did it, but I didn't knock the Traffic Warlock into Death's Door. Instead, I knocked a less lethal Pyromancer into Death's Door, and I only got six out of nine. But I did get to do the Resurrect, and we did do it relatively okay. But obviously, there's like another two Intel bits that I could have used to then make it so... I could use nine abilities, and also I could have put the death door in a better place, but I was just more trying it out more than anything. Apparently, I'm mildly on fire. I don't think it's a problem, though. On the plus side, I do now have enough to get Banks's new outfit, which is very cool. So I'll take that. Nah. I'm sure they'll get better. Defeat Bory Cash, last lethal pyromancer, complete. Defeat Steve Clark, the traffic warden, again. Warlock, again, complete. Secure them. Yeah, we're already going to... Wait, no, Liz got them already, apparently. You should have killed them. What? No, who's writing this? We don't kill people around here, remember. We don't kill people around here. On the plus side, Dessa did get a perk point, so let me have a quick look at what she's got. You know what? I'm just going to upgrade a sensitive cocktail, because, mainly because it doesn't get impacted by that weird laser which stops us from using magic, so we can still throw drugs at people. And nobody can stop us from doing that. Reach your dreams. Throw drugs at people. Let's confirm. So let me quickly go to the outfits, so now I can get here. I really like the Wistack version. I think she looks really cool, so unlock that one. We are in on it. I could go Urban Arcanist, although I might wait and just get to Blackout. I'll let see what other people think about that one. And then for our girl Jen, I might wait for Private Eye. I might wait for White Witch. I think I prefer Private Eye over Easy Point Knights, to be honest. I'm not really a big fan of either of these two. So, I think I might wait for Private Eye. I guess we'll see. Let me have a look here. I think we're all good in this regard. Where are we on Act 2? We're almost at the end of Act 2. Okay. How's the map looking? We're still over there. We're still over here somewhere for the time being, to be fair. This suggests we're going to hire two more people in this entire game, which will be quite interesting. I'd quite like to see that. But chats aren't really happening too much. I imagine more of them are going to happen as we go. Um, but I guess we'll see how it goes from there. We are definitely over an hour at this point. We have blasted through quite a lot of this. They did annoyingly get away because Liv pulled them away again because we don't kill people. We're not that sort of group. We did manage to get through one of the dream trainings and the proving grounds. I just need to do it again for Banks, but that's fine. We'll do that at that point. Generally speaking, we've leveled up. Start next episode, we're going to finish Act 2 and then get into Act 3. Perks, we're sort of getting there and we will be going back through some of the old missions to get some of the confidence, because why wouldn't we once we start getting the upgrades? But we'll kind of go from there. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll leave it there for the time being. We'll get cracked in straight away into the next episode. For me, it's going to be in about five minutes, if I'm being quite honest. But hey, that's just how YouTube works. But if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel and show us more maybe you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time we're going out with the group in Tactical Breach Wizards, which should not be very long between this episode and the next. Can't wait till then. Feel free to join the Discord and get involved in the conversation over there. We are a lovely bunch, as always. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.